Welcome to the Son of the Most High channel. I'm Brother Jedaniah, and on this particular channel, you will learn the laws of life of Almighty Yahweh. So let's get to it, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another video. All praises goes to the Most High Yahuwah in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. This is 2nd Esdras, chapter 14, verses 28 through 35. Hear these words, O Yasharal. Our fathers at the beginning were strangers in Mizraim, from whence they were delivered and received the law of life, which they kept not, which you also have transgressed after them. Then was the land, even the land of Sion, parted amount among you by a lot. But your fathers and you yourselves have done unrighteousness, and have not kept the ways which the highest commanded you, and for as much as he is a righteous judge, he took from you in time the thing that he had given you. And now are you here and your brethren among you. Therefore, if so be that you will subdue your own understanding and reform your hearts or your minds, you shall be kept alive and after death you shall obtain mercy. For after death shall the judgment come. When we shall live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest. And the works of the unrighteous shall be declared. Second Corinthians chapter 7 and 1. Having therefore these promises... Dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting kodeshness or set-apartness in the fear of Yahuwah. Now, why did I read that, brothers and sisters? Because I wanted y'all to see that when you receive the law of life, which is the law, statutes, commandments, and judgments that the Most High gave to Yahshuaal, through the hand of Moses on that mountain, which was renewed by Yahusha with the perfect sacrifice. When you receive that, you receive redemption, eternal life redemption. Brothers and sisters, when you put, when you receive the law of life, You put back on your heritage, your culture that the Father took from you, brothers and sisters. And then he turned you over to your worst enemies, which showed you another way using your own scriptures. They showed you another way that was suitable to them and their kingdom, which took you away from the Most High. Now, you have to remember that all the other nations as a whole always wanted to take you away from your mighty one. Always wanted you to fall away from your ways. Because they know as long as you're following the almighty creator who was in our ball court, who was our coach, our captain of the team, as long as we follow him, there ain't nothing any nation can ever do against us. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? And so, of course, Hashatan leading all the other nations and all of his fallen messengers that's over whatever sections of the na different nations is always, always running and gearing up to and seeking whom 
they can devour of Yasharal. Because as long as we not ri risen up the most high, will not appoint us over them. And so the whole end goal of all the other nations is to make sure we keep those 12 tribes scattered around the world in sin, transgression, and in, in, in inequity so that they will never rise up and learn the Kodesh ways of life. Because once we come back to the law of life as a nation of people, it's over for all the nations. We will step right back up to being the Most High's inheritance and reigning and ruling over all the earth with the kingship and the priesthood within our borders, brothers and sisters. They will no longer have their priesthoods and their kingships any longer. That's over with for them. Their kingships and their priesthoods is over. It's our time to shine. But, and we will shine in the second covenant, putting our minds and hearts to do it. When Yahoo shall return, then we shall take our rightful place and show forth the law of life, which the heathens done away with and said that if you follow those laws of life, you are forsaken the redemption of the mercy of the Most High. Which, of course, we know now is a lie from the pit. Brothers and sisters, let us come back to the laws of life which was given to us by the Father, by the finger of our Father on my Mount Zion given to Moses and all the statutes that came with it let us return unto all of that renewed through Yahusha by faith convert your mind to all these righteous ways to walk in put away all the filthy dirty nasty thoughts that we were trained to think through TV, through inter, uh, entertainment, through music, through uh, our parents, through school systems, and even through those sun-worshipping places we left. Oh, some of us just can't leave them alone. Some of us don't even turn to the Jewish or the Israeli way, which is not going to lead you, brothers and sisters. You have to be led of Yahusha. You have to come to him, Yahshua lights and grafted in Gentiles. You have to come to the king of kings and Master of masters, whom Yah, Yahuwah appointed over Yahshuaal and over the whole world as the king and high priest of the faith. You have to come to him first and foremost. Then take your position and place as he, as the Most High has appointed you to be in. Once you come to Yahusha. And you're a Yashalite. You take your place as the Most High's personal inheritance. And as kings and, king and uh, queens of the earth. Take your position. Take your place as a grafted in Gentile. Take your position and place. You are our inheritance. You were given to us by the Most High. To, to be captain over, to be stewards over, to be the firstborn, 
take your place as a second or third born, whatever place he put you in. And stand by our side. For the most high stands by our side. There's an order that he has created that can't be broken. The chain cannot be broken because your heart and your mind feels that it should be broken. You were put over us in our fall. But we still retain our title as the firstborn son and the inheritor of all the earth and over all of our brothers, all of our brothers and sisters who are grafted in. For we all are subject to the Most High's will. And whether you like it or not, you're going to have to take your spot. And if you are fighting against your spot that he has given you, there's a lake of fire waiting for you. If you don't want to take it, there's another place for you to go. You have your option. Yasharal, if you don't want to step up to your, your spot, your kingship, your queenship, your princeship, your princessship, there's another spot for you in a lake of fire waiting. There's plenty of room down there for you. Hell have enlarged itself to meet you so that you'll be with them. You and all your other brothers and sisters who refuse to obey, who refuse the word, who refuse to receive the laws of life. So you shall have death as you want it. But the second covenant is key, brothers and sisters. It's key by faith. Because by faith alone will you receive the Spirit of the Most High that will then lead you into following the laws of life. And the Spirit will let you know what you're doing wrong. And it will lead you into reading scriptures so you can break down and find a further understanding of what is right to do and what is wrong to do. You see, these laws were made for sinners. Those who are, who were raised up in sin need to know what is sin. They need to know what is righteousness. They can compare the two and see and, 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 and break it down and get understanding and gain knowledge and wisdom To put sin away. That's the whole purpose of the whole book. Not just parts of it. The whole. You need the whole thing. You need to know what the Most High said. What to eat and what not to eat. See as long as you're following. Once you learn everything. And you're following. It's a part, just a part of your everyday life pretty much don't need the book no more you don't need the laws no more you don't you don't need the physician that came for the sinners to, to heal the sinners you're healed you're there you don't need it of course the spirit's still gonna be with you and in you but you're gonna be made perfect after that and you're gonna walk in it y'all hear what i'm saying but as long as you are part of all these religions and don't take hold of the heritage and culture of our people, of our ancestors who received the law of life. You're not going to make it. You have to take hold of the law of such commandments in order to make it, brothers and sisters. So with that, I'm going to say shalom. Give me your thoughts in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all in the next video. Hallelujah. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome to part two of the law of life. 
Baruchah, is those who keep the commandments of Almighty Yahuwah and keep the faith of Yahusha, brothers and sisters. And let me tell you, if you are a children of the kingdom, day for day, you're going to represent life, kingdom life. Your, your day is going to be rooted in the fruits of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit. Your, your tongue is going to reflect whom you worship, whom you praise, whom you model after. And the good works shall follow you in every single day but if you're a child of hell your life will be hell and you will show forth the praise of your master and your wicked works will show your mindset your tongue will spew forth foul and vicious things you'll be a messy and violent person rooted in all manner of evil nosy and all up in other people's households con trying to control what's going on over here and there instead of your own house instead of your own person you're trying to control other people you're gonna be you're gonna reflect hell. You're gonna be fornicating, having boyfriends and girlfriends and participating in the ways of this world. Following all their celebrations, all the celebrations of the heathens. Even in this awakening, you're gonna somehow draw all that right into the Yashra Light awakening and defile yourself. And defile the awakening which is happening around you. And possibly causing others to be defiled by your stains. If you are living as a child of hell. Lasciviousness. Unjust weights and measures. Or unrighteous weights and measures. Will follow you scheming and and being a truth a truth breaker and you're gonna twist the truth just right and cunningly as the devil would to get your way or to get someone to believe what you're believing as I see in mass here on YouTube the twisting of the very words of the most high And it's the babes that's coming on here that's hearing these things and believing them because they don't know the Father. They don't know the Scriptures. They don't know the Son. They don't know the Word. So their their young little minds are being corrupted right from the beginning. But if you live in the law of life and trust in the Father trust in the son whom he said hear ye my son because he has put everything in his son the son is in him and he in the son hear ye him he's the high priest if you go to him he will set you straight he will send the spirit in you so that the most high will sit inside of your temple through that spirit of his and lead and guide you into all righteousness so purge and cleanse your minds and your hearts brothers and sisters and put away the ways of the heathen study the way well, what are the ways of Hashatan so you can Build up your armor against it. How is he coming at you? How is he breaking through to get to you? How are you falling? 
figure out because the battle starts in uh, high places. It's a spiritual battle first and foremost before it's a flesh. Look past the person that's yelling at you. Look past the person that may have deceived you, did you wrong, punch you, smack you, rape you, rob you, killed somebody you know. Look past them to the spirit. That's where your battle starts. Because the moment you look past that, that spirit, that same spirit going to come to you and create havoc in you. And before long, you yourself will be converted to a child of hell. And if you keep hanging around these children of hell, you're going to slowly turn into them little by little. And you're going to pick up their ways. I bear witness of that. Y'all should bear witness of that yourselves. You remember where you came from? You remember the people you used to hang with? You remember that. Don't you forget it. And even Yashua lights that's in the awakening could cause you to stumble. For they themselves are still children of hell, even in the awakening. While putting on their mask in front of you, they still a child of hell. If you open your eyes and see, they will reveal themselves right next to you, just as Judas did. We don't want to be walking around living in the law of death. The law of death holds sin inequity, transgressions, and all manner of, of defilement of your soul. But the law of life has none of those things. And the Father does give us time to purge out your soul, purge out transgression, purge out inequity, purge out sin or crime. He gives us time. Take advantage while the time is now. Because time is ticking. Every single tick of that clock is a second loss. Every minute that passed by is a minute loss. Every defeat of the enemy of your soul, you know, is a, is a defeat. So start piling up those victories and learn from those victories and overcome it. Trip and fall again, you, you, you learn from that. If you keep on tripping and stumbling, then you, you're going to have to add some fasting and praying and open your mind to more understanding of what's going on inside of your mind that causes the beginning of your fall. I had to do these same things, brothers and sisters, with things I didn't even think about. I had no idea until the Father showed me. But he'll do it in it, in it as he know you will understand and get it. And sometimes he, he has to take you here or there. Or you might have to go through something to, to find an understanding. It just depends on the person, brothers and sisters. My situation is not your situation. We may have some similarities, but some things may take longer for me to get get through and get past than it will you. You may get past something faster, but then it'd be slower for something else in which I got over faster. So everybody's situation isn't the same. So don't judge your brothers and sisters as they go on through these things. Help them. Help them through whatever it is. But ask yourself, are you still living as a child of hell? Are you still doing those hellish things? 
You still doing birthday parties? You still celebrating birthdays? Are you still showing up at Christmas parties? Just to show your face and say, well, I, I, I can at least show my face. Are you still complicit with the heathens' ways and showing them that, hey, y'all, look, I'm here. I showed up. Were you in agreement with them and not the Most High? Are you still showing up to somebody's sun worshiping service? Are you still going to those places? Or are you going to the Hebrew anity service where there's a pastor up there still preaching like he he he's from the sun worshiping church, but he know who we are. Now, nah, brothers and sisters, you'll know one of the most highs, true ones, because they're going to sound like the ones in a book. They're going to be like the ones in a book. They're not going to have some of that stuff from over there creeping in to our heritage and culture. They're going to leave that religion and all that stuff where it belongs with them. They're going to leave the world and all of the worldly stuff where it belongs with them. So you need to figure out, are you still doing things that the children of hell are doing? Are you still trying to get money out of people? Are you still scheming and scamming and lying and cheating and fornicating and committing adultery? Are you still eye humping people? Is your eyes all over the ladies or, or if you're a woman all over the men up and down and is your imagination flourishing as you doing that? Are you a child of light or a child of hell? Children of hell do those things, y'all. Train your mind. Train your eyes. Grab a hold of it and, and put it into subjection to Messiah. Every thought, every action. And keep practicing, y'all. You're going to get it. Don't give up. Don't say, I can't do it. I done heard someone say, man, I can't give up women. I can't give them up. Even after saying, you know, man, having boyfriend and girlfriends is against the most high. That get you in a lake of fire and fornicating. And, nah, man, I can't give them up. I can't give them up. I'm serious. I heard that. You know what they what they want then. That's a child of hell right there. And I heard someone say, man, I ain't giving up my pork. That's a child of hell right there. No joke. So brothers and sisters, shine your light. Be the light of the world. Show forth the good works of Almighty Yahweh. Control your mind, control your thoughts, control all your actions through the fruits of the Spirit, through the Spirit itself. The Spirit of the Most High. And live in the law of life, which was given to us by the Heavenly Father through His Son in the new second commandment. I mean covenant. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, give me your thoughts about this particular video. And uh, I say hallelujah. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Shalom.